WPSU is your source for Penn State sports, Penn State research, Penn State community. But we can't do it without your support. Make a contribution today and get a DVD of your favorite Penn State show. Well, just when you think you are working hard, you're complaining about the everyday grind, you then meet Courtney Clemens. Clemens was serving this nation as an Army medic in Iraq. One day he went back to get a fallen comrade. Clemens was wounded and left without the bottom of his right leg. Just the selfless act of going back to save a wounded man in dire conditions makes him a hero in anyone's book. What makes Courtney Clemens and what he's done with his life since is inspiring. Courtney, uh, your story is certainly an interesting one. Uh, tell us how it happened in Iraq. When uh, I mean, you're there, you're in the medic corps in the army. What happened that day? Um, we was doing a routine patrol around Baghdad, and um, also we had some guys that was about to take over our position. So we was actually showing those guys around so they can know like the ins and out of the city. But upon returning back to the um, to the base, we came across a Humvee that was flipped over and um, there some soldiers inside. Um, one guy was injured pretty bad, and um, they had already called a medevac, so someone was already on the way. So we called another one just to make sure. And um, I was able to work with the guy maybe like six or seven minutes before the, um, the helicopter landed. And um, we got the guy onto the stretcher, and we got ready to maneuver and put him inside of the um, Blackhawk. And upon doing that, IED exploded. And, um, once I ID um, went off, I was injured pretty bad to where, I mean, I didn't know, like, to see, I wasn't able to see anybody around me, and I just remember um, knowing that I was injured pretty bad. Um, later, my friends covered me up, and um, once I saw them, like, giving me all the attention, you know, I figured that, you know, something was pretty much, pretty bad, something bad had happened. So, um, from that point, I was, I stayed conscious maybe like two or three, maybe even five minutes, and, um, I remember the Black Hawk landing and um, picking me up and taking me out of the area. And when I woke up, I was in, in Germany, Longstuhl, Germany. Mm -hmm. And my leg had already been amputated up at that time. The road back, how tough was the road back to come back from something like that? Um, I think the hardest part was just the mental part, um, yeah. just getting past. Um, you're not going to be able to do some of the things that you used to do anymore. Um, and even if, not even that, just knowing that it's going to take a little time. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to like plan ahead when you get ready to do certain things to where beforehand you can just, you know, hop right to it. Um, so that was the most difficult thing for me. It's like, like getting back and getting back out into society and also leaving the hospital with the other guys because mm -hmm. while you're at the hospital, you got those guys that are going through the same things that you're going through and you guys spend so much time together. And when you leave and come back out in society, it's like, it's like you, um, you're not, you don't see it often, and it's like it's like you turn a bunch of heads. But while you're at the hospital, everybody knows that you know these guys are injured in the war, and everything is okay. How'd you get involved at Penn State? What drew you here, and what drew you to Terry, Terry Jordan's program? I was doing therapy, and I was watching this guy um, powerlift on um, TV, and I was like, you know what? I think I could probably do that, and I um, started doing some research and stuff, and found out like a clinic that I could go to, which is in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Um, I went out to Philly, and um, there is where I met Terry and Rohan there. Um, she had brought him down as well, and um, she invited me to come down and check out Penn State campus, and I also ran. So I um, came by, and I saw this facility that we're in right now, indoor <laughs> track, and I was like, whoa, I could train year-round, you know? So that's was, that was one of the reasons besides this is a great school also. What are you majoring in here, by the way? Um, therapeutic recreation. Tremendous. Now, not only powerlifting, but your run. Sprinter, 100 meters, uh, and uh, I guess there's a possibility you're going to be fit with a new perspective, new knee to help help you out. Uh, what kind of times do you think you can turn in uh, once that happens? I'm hoping to turn in some 13s, some like mid 13s, maybe even some 12s um, would be great, and um, that would definitely, you know, give me um, a good edge, and especially going into into the track and field. I never ran track beforehand, so it'll definitely be some progress for me to, to build upon and um, start my career running pretty good. Now the upper body helps with the running part too because of what you can generate there. So how much do you think the power lifting has helped you in that regard? 
I mean, it helps me because all of sprinting is, is so short. It's, a, it's only 100 meters, so it's about just trying to get this power, get the force down the track. So I don't have to run long, which is great. Um, yeah. Anything above 200 meters, I feel, is a marathon. But um, the power lifting actually helps me, um, you know, really dig for those 100 meters and try to get the time down as fast as one, I can. One final thing, how much do you enjoy talking to children and also going back to hospitals and talking to those who have served and have been wounded such as yourself I mean it's a, it's, it's a great it means a great deal to me um, I was like I was in their shoes once and mm -hmm. um, I was able to see someone mm -hmm. um, that was missing their leg and they was running yeah. and that you know and that motivated me and it got me to where I am right now um, so I feel like if they're able to see someone that's like like just trying to move on with life. Not don't even have to be really successful, but you know, just moving on with life and it doesn't even have to be in sports. Just to see a guy that's to still describing that you still have a place in society means a, a great deal. It's been a pleasure and honor. Thank you. Thank you. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.